Hey guys, I'm Ryan Goodkin, and today we're gonna to talk about remedies for joint pain. I know joint pain is a common ailment for many, many people. So we're gonna just talk a little bit about what to do if you suffer from some joint pain. Um, most people are very quick to go right to anti-inflammatory drugs, the NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Advil, ibuprofen, Aleve. The problem though is that those drugs, can, they carry such a, I, can, I say, a considerable risk. They have tons of side effects, and they, they definitely cause problems on the body. So I avoid NSAIDs at all costs. I really do try to look for alternative and natural ways to reduce the inflammation, assuming that your joint pain is due to inflammation. Um, arthritis is a common ailment, we know that. Uh, it's typically a, an ailment of age from a previous injury or um, even just carrying too much body weight can cause a lot of joint pain. So I guess first things first, let's find out why. What are you suffering from? What type of joint pain? You should definitely be seeing an orthopedist, somebody. You may need to have physical therapy. Um, but following the pillars of health, maintaining an ideal body weight with proper, hydra proper hydration and good nutrition uh, is certainly the cornerstone and sort of first line therapy for maintaining and managing joint pain. Uh, but when you need to, you can rely upon some supplements. I mean, there's some supplements that have been shown to be beneficial as an anti-inflammatory. You know, one of which that I really like is curcumin of the turmeric plant. It, again, it should, it's been shown to, to inhibit the COX enzyme, which is the same thing that Celebrex inhibits, and a, that's a known anti-inflammatory drug. So I would suggest you know, trying curcumin. Uh, tart cherry, there's a lot of different benefits there as well. Uh, but a lot of the anti-inflammatory, antioxidant products would be a good choice. Uh, fish oil is another good one. So really it does have a lot to do with lifestyle. Uh, I had recently broken my ankle and I was taking some bone supplements to try to help rebuild the bone, but I've been told I may suffer from arthritis at an earlier age because of that injury. So my doctor said the right thing. He said just do the best you can to maintain an active lifestyle and an ideal body weight. So keep that excess weight off. Remember, that excess weight adds to inflammation, right? That is, that is a direct causative, direct cause. So I'd say that's probably first and foremost is lifestyle. We'll focus on that. And you'll find that there's a lot of other benefits associated with that healthy lifestyle choice as well. And we've also, um, as a pet owner, the veterinarian's always been talking to us about other supplements to use. So of course we can do fish oil in dogs. We actually use sardines because uh, we'll use those in our own diet, but we give them to our dogs as well because they're high in omega-3 fatty acids. And another supplement too, uh, surprisingly, is CBD. So CBD has been shown to have some anti-inflammatory effects. And uh, I, I've been using that personally. And also there's a pet formulation too as well. So I hope those tips help with, uh, with some of your joint pain. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my channel at Ryan Livgood. Thank you and be well.